Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we will be comparing one of the most famous note-taking application available for iOS, iPad and Mac platform and we'll talk about what they offer side by side. Today in this video, we will talk about Microsoft OneNote, Notability and GoodNotes. These all three apps are one of the most popular application available in Apple Store. So let's talk about their UI or interface first. So let's start with Notability. So on the left hand side is my Notability and on the right hand side is Good Notes. Here I would say Notability have a very simple UI where you can see all your notes at one place and then you can also see preview of the document on the right however in case of good notes you can see the file and list view as well as icon view and here you can also arrange your document based on date names and types so i would say in terms of ui I slightly prefer Notability as it have got feature of grouping your notebooks based on you know different different subject. So here what we can do is we can create grouping and then uh, we can arrange these documents inside those groupings. And um, however we do not see this kind of interface available inside GoodNote. However, when we talk about the number of feature available, then I would say GoodNote has more number of features when compared to Notability. Now let me bring in Elephant in this room, which is Microsoft OneNote. So Microsoft OneNote is available not only for Machintos, I would say, but for all famous operating system and device be it apple linux or windows you will find one note available for all type of device and here we can see it also comes with a very decent ui layout that offers us to create a book and inside that book there are different sections and in those sections we can create our multiple notes this interface also i would say is very intuitive guys it also supports windows inc now i would say it is up to us which interface we like however OneNote is not only feature rich but it also support multiple user document edit and many more other features when we talk about reliability then i would like to give maximum numbers to notability and good note and the best part about Microsoft OneNote is it is absolutely free, which I would say is bigger part of strategy such that all the user can be addicted to Microsoft Office and then user will purchase Microsoft Office. However, I would say the inking experience inside Microsoft OneNote is not that good when we compare it with good notes and notability maybe because good notes and notability were built only focusing toward apple devices and that kind of polish or reliability we can also see with these application both notability and good note i would say is very reliable application and if we talk about their performance, the performance of both these applications is also superb. You can edit any PDF very efficiently in both of these operating system. Overall, what I felt is both these applications, Notability and GoodNote, are more responsive and provide more fluidic experience while writing on these application however when we talk about the quality of pen guys then i would like to give additional points to notability notability pens are so so good that despite notability comes with least number of features still because the way it write looks and feels is really awesome guys 
Notable thing if you are from India comes with an annual subscription plan of 1200 rupees. Similarly, if we talk about Good Notes, Good Note also comes with a subscription plan, offers a decent toolbar with advanced selections such as lasso selection and also can convert any sentence to text. GoodNote also offer voice recording and many more. If we talk about pencil of GoodNote, I would again say it also looks quite decent. However, not as good as handwriting inside Notability. And really, I do not understand why is it so. However, when we compare the pen of GoodNote with Notability and OneNote, I would say GoodNote lies in between Notability and OneNote. If we talk about PDF annotation, then I would say that all these three apps offer PDF annotation without any problem. These application also offers collaborative features such that you can edit any document with your colleagues. Personally, I have extensively used all these three apps, which is Good Notes, Notability and OneNote. In terms of quality, look and feel, I would say Notability is the best app among all these three, followed by OneNote because of kind of feature that OneNote offers and that too for absolutely zero price making OneNote as close second and the third app in our list which is not again I would say too far behind from first and second. In the end I would say these all three apps are neck to neck in terms of the quality or value they offers. You can choose anyone out of these three for larger project go with Microsoft OneNote. That's all guys from my side in this video. I hope you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then do like and subscribe to this channel for more such content. And also ask your question in comment down below. I will try to answer your question as soon as possible. Till then you take care and bye bye.